correct time to watch a horror movie. Why wait for Halloween? Well, if you're looking for something really scary, then this video has got you covered. Netflix has got you covered. But Netflix has such an extensive library that sometimes it becomes really difficult to exactly navigate the absolute best horror movies in this expansive catalog. But do not worry, in this video, I have put together some of the most terrifyingly devilish films that are streaming right now on Netflix. But let me warn you something, Netflix keeps on changing its content. By the time I end this video, you might not be able to find that particular movie on Netflix. But do not worry, YouTube has got you covered. You can definitely go ahead and watch it on YouTube if you're unable to find that on Netflix. So what are we waiting for? Let's dig in. <laughs> is Green Room. It's an absolute must watch. This movie works really well but unfortunately it did not really receive the attention that it actually deserved. But it's definitely a must watch from my side. Every character is so realistic. The way they approach every scene, the way they cope up with the terrifying and unexpected events uh, is nothing but an example of sheer brilliance. And uh, uh, the most uh, Violent scenes of this movie will be a little difficult for you to watch, not because of the violence, but because of the seemingly genuine fear being portrayed by the characters. So, thumbs up for this. The next movie on my list is Veronica. It's a Spanish movie. You can always watch it with the subtitles on. It is based on a true paranormal incident. Now, we have the story of Veronica, a young school-going girl. She plays this board game with her friends, uh, uh, you know, in the unexplored dark corners of her school. And the motive of playing this board game was to summon the spirit of her deceased father. She misses her father. She wants to have a word with him. But definitely, uh, there's a twist to the plot and uh, it has the entire board game has a disastrous impact. She starts seeing uh, eerie visions and she starts hearing strange noises. It's definitely not the scariest movie, I would say, but the performances of every character was uh, worth noting. I loved the performance played by Veronica, the protagonist of the movie. Well, if you're looking for those cliched witches and uh, dingy dungeons, skeletons, shadows, demons, then this movie is not for you. But it's a very slow burning, uh, creepy, paranormal ride with a lot of suspense and tension. So yeah, you should go for it. The next one is Insidious. It is one of the greatest horror flicks I have ever seen. It's definitely a scary watch. Well, it's directed by James Wan and James knows exactly when to spook his audience. The amazing cast, the great storyline, the red demon, the background score, everything just literally creeped me out, giving me nightmares forever. Please go ahead watching it and let me know what are your views on it. It will definitely bring chills down your spine. absolutely loved watching Bulbul. Well, Bollywood after long has started making some sense and has made a decent horror flick. It's an experimental, dark, feminist fable immersed in realism and surrealism. The acting by each and every member of the film fraternity has uh, made an amazing job. It's phenomenal. It's spellbound. I don't have words. But I would definitely talk about Tripti who has played the role of Bulbul to perfection. Now, this movie is not a typical horror movie. It only uses horror as a tool, but it's all pervading silence. The setting, the storyline, the acting, the background score, the cinematography, 
everything is top notch go for it before netflix decides to erase it from its catalog now this has to be my favorite the shining is based on the great stephen king's novel it's one of my favorite horror movies i have ever watched till date and i mean it this you know there's so visceral underneath it so sublimely evil at the core of this film that it has become a legacy it's actually a masterpiece and jack nicholson's acting will literally blow you away amazing cinematography setting plot line character development background score everything is amazing i've got no words to describe this so we have got uh, this character the protagonist of the story called jack he accepts the job as a winter caretaker of the snow capped colorado's overlook hotel and uh, uh, he accompanies his wife and his son uh, to this hotel and they are totally isolated from the rest of the world he's a novelist by profession and uh, he needs that isolation uh, in order to concentrate and focus on his development of the novel but unfortunately things start getting a different turn jack starts losing his mind he becomes frenzied he becomes a madman and that is so brilliantly portrayed by jack i don't know if anybody can ever compete with jack for this role it's definitely a must watch and it is definitely worthy of winning an oscar if you do not find it on netflix you will definitely find it on youtube do you like zombies if yes then this one is for you train to busan falls into the category of uh, of zombie horror genre and it's an amazing film it's it's amazing uh, watch it only if you have a strong uh, stomach for gore it's uh, it does so much of justice to its genre this entire and all the action takes place on the train uh, the setting is south korea and we have this uh, uh, you know the protagonist of the uh, of the film who is a diverse man he is so much caught up with his work he doesn't have much time for his daughter suddenly decides to offer her a train ride from seoul to busan in order to see her mother in busan so as the train departs uh, this horrific virus starts spreading and people start transforming into zombies sounds hilarious isn't it i bet you please go for it and watch it it's not just a horror movie but it's hard wrenching i promise you you will be emotionally involved till the end of the movie it's so hard wrenching and it has it's it's tragic actually uh, it should fall into the category of a tragedy the acting is so good the background music is so good it will keep you intrigued and hooked till the very end so i i promise you this is my second favorite after the shining um i i did not have any taste for zombie horror genre but after watching train to busan i just salute everyone for their sheer brilliance and how beautifully they uh, how beautifully each and every character uh, played their roles so well and it's so very relatable so um that's all for today uh halloween is round the corner so you can go ahead and watch these movies and please do comment in the comment section below whether you've enjoyed watching you can also recommend a few more horror movies because i have a, a fascination for horror movies and the reason behind the psychology behind that is nothing but the adrenaline rush i absolutely love watching horror movies be it anything be it horror thriller be it the paranormal uh, one or simply a horror one so thank you so much for watching please do subscribe to my channel like share and dislike also if you do not like thank you